As authorities continue to investigate and charge individuals associated with the deadly Capitol insurrection, a lot of people wondering if that might soon include the president himself. So let's bring in now the attorney general for the District of Columbia, Mr. Carl Racine. Attorney General Racine, good to see you, kind sir. And let just tell us, are you right now investigating and looking at the possibility of charging President Trump with inciting a riot there in D.C. in terms of that Capitol insurrection? Great to be with you, T.J. and Amy, and happy Martin Luther King birthday day and celebration. Look, we're looking at every single speaker uh, who took the podium and at least riled up the crowd. Under D.C. law, inciting violence is a misdemeanor offense, and it's my office's responsibility to investigate whether those words exceeded the First Amendment protection and went into a zone of criminality um, for inciting the mob that charged the Capitol. Attorney General, obviously your hands are, are very full with what happened in Washington during, of course, that storming of the Capitol. And now you're dealing with what could happen this week at the inauguration. How is your team preparing for the inauguration and what are your biggest concerns? Well, thank you for asking the question. And we have fabulous colleagues. So, you know, we've prepared um, a couple of legal documents that we hope we don't have to file um, just in case things get uh, out of hand. We are, as your reporter well said, in the District of Columbia, extremely well prepared. Over 25,000 National Guard from across this country. The Metropolitan Police Department, those are the D.C. police officers who actually fought and risked their lives to clear the Capitol. They're on the case. I have total confidence in Chief Conti and those police. And we're hoping for the best, and we expect a peaceful, celebratory, if not a bit less crowded, inauguration. And I know you have a lot of focus on this inauguration, but you're a busy man and you can uh, walk and chew gum. So you have to keep your eye on the inauguration of 2017. You have an investigation going on in the misuse of funds from that inaugural committee. And you're now wanting to talk to Donald Trump Jr. You said as a part of that uh, investigation. Where are you on that interview? Is it going to happen and when? Sure. Yeah, we've asked to speak with uh, Don Jr. around his knowledge uh, regarding certain events related to the presidential inauguration committee in 2017. Our case is pretty simple. Not-for-profit organizations are supposed to spend monies only for a not-for-profit purpose. There's not to be any self-dealing to a for-profit organization, nor is there to be money wasted for a not-for-profit purpose. What we've seen so far is over a million dollars that was wasted and was funneled into the Trump Hotel. Uh, when the Trump Hotel charged the not-for-profit excessive rates, rates that didn't charge other clients, and that obviously is not lawful. With respect to Don, what we found out, unfortunately, is that one of his best buddy friends got himself a free week stay at another hotel care of the not-for-profit organization. That's not the way it's supposed to work. All we want to do is follow the law here. And frankly, you know, if another inauguration committee were to run afoul of the law, we'd be on the case as well. Attorney General Racine, finally now again focusing back on this week's inauguration. I want to give you the opportunity for anyone out there who's listening who is considering or thinking about doing something they shouldn't, about uh, doing something violent or planning any further attacks, what would you say to them and to those groups? There has never been a neighborhood, which is the whole mall area, that has been more protected than now. Now is not the time to come into our jurisdiction to create havoc. If you have weapons or other materials, or have a bad plan for aggressive action, you're gonna be arrested and you're gonna be held fully accountable to the law. I also wanna say something to the social media companies out here. Finally, we're starting to see some responsibility being taken. They're starting to take disinformation and misinformation and flat out lies off of social media. They've gotta do more. And I'm talking to Facebook, I'm talking to Google, and I'm talking to the others. Be leaders. Don't simply profit from lies and hate. Attorney General for the District of Columbia, Carl Racine, thank you so much. As we mentioned, you are extremely busy right now, so we certainly appreciate your time today.
Thank you, Amy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.